Right guys, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Baggio. Sorry for the long, long delay. I had a week off, too many videos the week before. I'd done six videos in seven days. I needed a bit of time off. I also wasn't feeling this save. It'll all be explained why in a minute. We've had massive changes over the summer. We've had jobs we thought we were going to get. We didn't end up getting jobs that we turned down that we maybe should have taken. In the end, it's resulted in me not feeling severe. I think I was already sort of like edging towards leaving and then realising that I was having to stay meant that I'd done pre-season but I still wasn't feeling the safe so the best thing to do was resign. So let's find out where Baggio is starting the season. <laughs> Right, first thing, as you can see, Roberto Baggio is now Italy manager. Now, I'm quite keen not to put too many people off the save with the Italian. What I'm going to probably do is, is just talk you through games as we've done it. I might, if we've played a couple of games, I'll just very quickly show you in the recap. We won't play too many sort of like qualifiers and stuff like that. They've just been knocked out of the World Cup in the group stage, only beating Korea. I think they got beat to Norway as well. Um, Norway and Colombia, I think, qualified from the group. They sat to two, so we applied for it, and we got the job pretty much straight away. I've called in some more boys as well. We've got Chiellini in. I've also got my mate Benito Carboni, 90s legend. He's managing the under-20s as well. Um, so that's a good challenge. There's some class, class players. This man in particular, all right, who I'm going to get to know very, very well, that is because we are manager of Monaco. We've had a really weird, weird summer. So, what happened was Arsenal manager left. He was sacked, I believe. I applied for the job. They gave me an interview. The same time, Real Madrid sacked Allegri. They then appointed the... AC Milan manager, I think, or Barcelona did, one of the two. I applied for it. The more I thought about it, the more I wanted AC Milan. They're in a great financial place. Really are strong. Really are strong. Arsenal offered me the job. I delayed it and thought, right, I'll take it if I don't get the Monarch, if I don't get the Milan job. Milan then waited over a week to let me know, so I had to make the decision, do I go to Arsenal or not? I said no to Arsenal, and lo and behold... AC Milan, despite me being favourites um, and the fans' choice, they went for Allegri and that left me in the shitter. So what I decided to do was stick it out at Sevilla. So I was playing this last week in my week off, decided to have a week off because I was doing too much. Um, I built a decent decent squad, so if you look at the transfers, I've brought, brought in a couple. So I brought in Twanzebe, Abraham, Pereira, Diop, Patanga, Aubameyang on loan, that was an awful signing. Bakioba, Bakioko, Bentaleb, great signing. We've got Rashford back on loan. And this little guy called Puig, Puig, Puig um, from Barca, absolute bargain. Made a fair bit of coin, um, but I just weren't feeling it. I wasn't enjoying it. I didn't enjoy pre-season pre at all. And I started to think that it was affecting the save. Um, I'm not a big fan of Spain in general, especially outside the big boys. So I thought, right, all I'm going to do is just resign and see where it takes me. I was fancying, to be honest, anywhere apart from being at Sevilla. From then on, Liverpool sacked their manager, whoever that was, or he moved jobs. They then appointed Thomas Tuchel at, from PSG. PSG then appointed Monaco's manager, and that opened the door I applied for the PSG job too late. They said that they were too late and they already made a decision. I applied for the Monaco job and within it was 58 minutes, they gave me an interview and I am the manager. They've got 108 million to spend as well, same as Milan. <clears throat> they haven't really won anything. PSG have dominated. They won everything last year and finished runners-up in the Champions League. So naturally, they're very strong. There's a little bit of work to do on the squad. It's a little bit heavy in certain areas. Centre midfield, we've got Paredes, Palacios, Tillemans, Jensen, a summer signing, Golovkin, Maya, Rafina, and Fisher can play there as well. So we are very, very top heavy. Um, kind of half stupid to my style. Um, 
So if we go on to tactics, we've got decent across the back four. Apart from we're, we're very we're a little bit short. We've only got Mooney and Heinrichs as our full backs. We've got players incoming at left back as well because Heinrichs can play right back. So I'll have two in every position, which I like. And um, we've got Jemison as a centre half. Senesi is a decent player, I think, as well. He's Argent Argentinian. Yes, Argentinian centre half, very good. Tielemans, Golovkin. We've signed this guy, Jensen, which I just don't understand. He's he's all right. He's all right. They've signed him before me, obviously. Um, but they've paid 15 million for him. He's not he's not great. Especially when you've got Tielemans, Golovkin, Palacios, Maya there as well. Um We've got Ronnie Lopez. He's our captain. He's out injured. He's out injured today. We've got Balde, Rafinha, Pellegri, Diogo Jota, and then we've got a little runder kid. This guy. Very, very strong. Ailey, 18 years old. Has he come through youth? Ooh, no, did we buy him? Nice? I don't know. He's, he's at Nice. He started at Nice there, but we've, we've managed to get hold of him somehow. And then... We've got Edouard, who's been chased by a few big, big clubs, but we have got him. And he's got definitely a useful backup to Le Pellegri, who is now four and a half star. So, we've got a very, very strong squad. We start with Leon today. The season has already started. I've not played any game so far this season. And um, we've got the last game of the se uh, last game before the transfer window closes. We have got a little bit of business coming in, I think. Yeah, we've got Pellegri. Or Pelle, Pellegrini, the left back from Roma coming in for 20 mil. And Escudero, just as a backup, he'll sign for two years. Backup left back as well. We are in the Champions League. We've just drawn Bayern Munich, Porto and P-O-A-K from Greece. So we should get through there. They want Champions League qualification, That is, so that is top three. But we've started pretty well. They are top. They are top, and we play Leon, who have had an indifferent start to the season. Leon, who we've been linked with a couple of times, a couple of jobs we should have maybe taken. There's the domination from PSG. So we've got a job on our hands, but it's really invigorated the save. I was not too keen on moving around so much so early, but I wasn't feeling that severe. And Baggio, to be fair, he was a bit of a journeyman in his playing days. Tactics generally the same. We've just taken off directness. Um, and we've gone for just a standard, hoping not to... So we can just control the game a little bit more with the ball. Right, so here we go. We're looking pretty good. We've got Manalas as well, who's who's in my man. We've just signed him in the summer. We've signed Munia in the summer. And we signed Jensen, who is on the bench as well in the summer. We're a little bit light in this Shadow Striker role. I think Rafinha could probably do it. Um, if we look at Shadow Striker, not great at finishing, but he's dribbling first touch. He's pretty decent. He should be able to get us a few goals. Right. First game in charge. Monaco versus Leon. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the move. We've got a lot of money to play with. Um, which we're not going to be able to spend. So we've only got them two left backs coming in. We're trying to look for an attacking midfielder and a potentially a wide man. Um, we've changed the winger to an inside forward just because it suits Ronnie Lopez uh, when he comes back. First highlight of the game is going to go to Leon. We've had it. We're going to break it. Rafinha. Charging down the wing. He's done well. What a run. Pellegri. Just over the bar. Here we go. Golovkin. Munier. So we're getting our full backs high. Pellegri's there. That's a good chance. Balde. Oh, good save. We've got Heinrichs. We're looking good, though. We're looking pretty sharp. Heinrichs. Tielemans. Golovkin. We've got a great midfield with Golovkin. Tielemans. Rafinha. Golovkin put it out wide. He's going to himself. Good strike. Good save. Good save. Jota. Good strike. Good save. We've mounted on the pressure this first half. 19 chances at goal. No clear cut. Three half. The keeper's claimed it. So the second half begins. We just need to find that opener. I think we will. We'll break him down. Balde. Rafinha. We've got a chance here. Just wide. We're a little bit light on the bench just because we haven't got Lopez. We haven't got um, Edouard as well. We're going to do a change. Kite is feeling a little bit. We're going to go. We're going to go reset. And we're just going to play him as a winger. He's right footed. 
we go. Got a tether off the centre half, taking throws. Munoz ball into the box. Pellegrini's headed on. Jota, get in. There we are. We're up and running. One 0 Diego Jota, centre half, taking throw. We're, I've I've been a little bit rushed. I've literally had four days to prepare, get my staff in, um, do some transfers, look at the squad as well. And I've had to name the first Italian squad. The Italian squad is all geared for the next World Cup. So I've dropped out a few. There's people like Florenzi. A couple of goalkeepers that were 30 odd have dropped them out as well. And we're looking at the next World Cup, which is in four years' time. Can we win it? Yeah. Are Leon going to get their first highlight from us? We're just going to demand a little bit more. I really don't want them nicking, stealing two points off us because they've deserved absolute bugger all. I've only had two shots. But they're in here. Maximin Philippe. And uh, the lead has lasted, what? Two minutes, a bit of a nothing ball, and we'll have to go again. Here we go. Come on, Munir, Elevidi, Tielemans, Golovkin, play it in, play it in. It's going yourself, and it's over. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Here we go, corner, Rafinha, free header, Pellegri, get in. <laughs> He's going to be my main man, him and Catrone up front in the Italian squad as well. Going far too far with them because we ain't got really a shadow striker. We'll go cautious last few minutes. We've got a free kick. Tielemans. Oh, good save. Pellegrini on the rebound. Save. Rebound. Is he going to count? I think so. VAR in this league, is that? LVD. Never heard of him. But we've got the win we deserve. I think that will be it. There it is. We left it a little bit late. 87 and 93. But we deserve it. Look at that. 34 shots on goal. Battered. Bit of the ball as well. Which we want to see. Which is good. We're not going too direct. What a start. What we'll do is. Just before finish. It's the international break now. I'm not going to play a game on camera with Italy just yet. I think I've got England actually coming up soon. In the Nations League. But what we'll do is. I'll show you the squad. Um, there's a couple out. So, Dicilio, the right back, he's out, but I'm not a big fan of him anyway in FM. And um, Verratti is actually out injured, but there's a lot of quality. There we go. Sitting pretty at the top of the league. Right, let me just quickly show you the squad. So, we've got Chiesa, right midfielder, right winger. Uh, obviously we had him at Fiorentina he fits into the style perfectly as a winger um, this dude is decent, Barella um, he's going to be our box to box we've got Jorginho, Balotti, Bernadeschi Insigne is old I've just left him in because he can play in a variety of positions for us and he is absolutely class, he's probably the only one left um, we have got Jorginho once again he'll play for us in the Euros and then after the Euros we'll we'll filter him out We've got players like uh, Galladini, decent central midfielder. We're very strong in down the middle. Well, to be fair, we're strong everywhere. And um, we've also got the youngster Pellegri, uh, Conti, Emerson, Catroni, Caldara, Barreca, uh, Alex Moreira, goalkeeper. He's very good. Look at that. So we're very strong. Very strong. There's this guy as well who's now at Chelsea. I started at Brescia. Look, he's very good. So we've got plenty of options. Patrick Catron is still at Fiorentina, I believe. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. He's going to be an handful. Pressing for him as a pressing forward, and then we're going to have Pellegrini, Pellegrini, sorry, tapping him in. We've got Donnarumma as well. So we're very, very strong. Ranking-wise, we're tenth in the world. Schedule look. Yeah, we've got this European League before the qualifiers start. Done that? No, he's not. I don't know if he's done. He's actually done the European qualifiers yet. But we've got Switzerland and England in there, playing in Wankdorf. Brilliant. French are the holders. Now we've got the end of the end of December. We've got the draw for the European qualifying. So we'll I'll let you know when that is. But thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you think to the moves of Baggio. So we're now with Monaco and Italy. Next episode will be Saturday morning. We're going to get back on. There'll be no streams for the foreseeable. I'm moving house. I've got a business starting. I'm working full time. I've got a kid. 
So things are a little bit hectic, but I'm going to try and stick to two Baggios, Tuesday, Saturday, and two Man Uniteds, Wednesday, Sunday, with the occasional experiment added in for good measure. Um, but bear with me as best you can, and I will see you Saturday. Brilliant. I'm playing Nice next. It's not telling me we're fucking playing. What's it doing? What's it doing to me? don't know why it's doing that. But if you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like in there, subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much for watching. See you Saturday.